Hi, this is Manos Berlakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting case 24 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of guide wire entrapment during undergrade sexual reentry attempts. This was a patient who presented with um, an LAD CTO, single vessel occlusion. There was, um, the occlusion was at the origin of a septal branch. There is a hint of where the vessel is going and there is moderate feeling of the mid and distal LAD pro from the right coronary artery as well from bilateral collaterals. We decided to first attempt undergrade wire escalation. This is a fine gross microcatheter through an 8 friends XP35 guide and a field LXT guide wire who seems to be tracking along the vessel, dancing across with the vessel. However, upon further advancement, it became apparent that although we were dancing in sync, the microcatheter and the wire were actually in the subindimal plane. Given that there was not much reconstitution of the vessel in the mid area, the goal was to advance a knuckle micro and knuckle wire further down into the LAD and attempt re-entry at an area where the vessel reconstituted better. So a field LXT guide wire was inserted and pushed into forming a knuckle guide wire. However, the problem was that the knuckled wire subsequently became entrapped and could not be withdrawn back into the microcatheter. Moreover, during attempts of back and forth, the wire broke. So we have a situation here where we have a broken part of a field LXT guide wire in the mid LAD with a fine cross microcatheter coming to the proximal portion. And in cases like this, it may be very hard to actually retrieve the wire. Although, of course, that's the most desired outcome. However, in many cases, if there is not much wire going back, putting a stent around this wire and essentially trapping it against the vessel wall might be a good option. So that's what we we'll try to do in this case, try to push through the fine cross with another guide wire to push out the wire and potentially cross and crash it with another stent. However, we still were stuck in the microcatheter. What we try to do next is advance a guide wire next to this. So we did a parallel wire technique with the Pilot 200. And we were actually able to advance the distal to the area of entrapped guide wire into the middle LED with a true to true lumen crossing as confirmed from two orthogonal projections. So we have now the fractured guide wire with the fine cross microcatheter still attached. And we have a second guide wire crossing in the distal true lumen. We switch the pilot for a workhorse guide wire and then try to balloon against the entrapped wire so we can remove the fine cross microcatheter and potentially then place a stand in that area. And then we perform intravascular ultrasound to determine how much microcatheter and wire we had. And this is the area where the entrapped microcatheter and wire are. There's all these wire artifacts with shadowing showing that we do have the entangled guide wire essentially in the middle part of the LAD coming back all the way into the main vessel with the fine cross microcatheter. After ballooning there was some undergrade flow, however still there remained this fractured guide wire. Did some more ballooning and then eventually we pulled the fine cross and to our surprise the entire system, including the fine cross microcatheter and the entangled kind of wire came out, and this is what came out. This is the probably unraveled distal part of the coil of the filter XT guide wire that is fairly dismantled with uh, pieces of polymer in different parts of the guide wire. It was a fortunate event that the entire guide wire fragment came out instead of uh, um, getting entangled into the vessel and potentially prolapsing in the aorta, which could be a major complication. The main concern, of course, here is did we remove the entire wire or are there still any fragments? And that's why intravascular ultrasound was done again. And in this particular case, we do not have any more wire fragments within the occlusion, but most importantly, there are no wire fragments in the more proximal part of the vessel in the LAD and the left main. Therefore, it appeared that the entire guide wire fragment had been successfully removed. The LAD guide wire was repositioned 
and after placement of drug eluting stents, a nice final result was achieved with Timothy flow in the LAD and no other complications. So in summary, what this case demonstrates is that knuckle guide wires, although they're very safe in general, in rare cases, they may get deformed and even break, become fractured, which is a major complication, not necessarily because of the wire fragments stuck inside the vessel, but more importantly, because if the guide wire protrudes back into the left main or into the aorta, that can be a source of thrombotic events and that might require surgery for repair. Moreover, when the wire unravels, it can form an entangled bird's nest, an entangled microcatheter, microcatheter and coil mass that can form the nidus for thrombus. So it is important to confirm that this has been removed and the intravascular ultrasound can do that, as in our case, and demonstrate that the entire wire fragment was removed. Thank you.